guys, welcome to your very first Waiting on Books 2016 vlog. I'm Jada McCoy and I'm here to talk about my new adult science fiction, Artificial. So I have some questions here that I'm going to answer and let's do it. Question one, what is the story about? Artificial is set 200 years in the future. Sylvia, the main character, lives in a city called Elite. It's a post-apocalyptic place. Um, there's been a war with androids, and androids have genetically spliced human and bug DNA, creating these um, acid-spitting, flesh-eating, nocturnal bug creatures called the Cull. Still believes that the Cull can be killed off, and uh, life could resume and go back to normal. Um, but then she's abducted, and her genes are spliced, slowly turning her into one of the Cull. Basically. The story is about her going to an android city and trying to find a cure for herself and find out who's doing the genetic splicing and stop them so that nobody else will have to go through this ever again. What inspired you to write this story? Um, I think the setting came first. Um, I used to work in a, I guess a high rise in downtown Nashville and I kind of would just look out the window at all of the buildings and the people and the cars and everybody going about their normal everyday life. I just wondered what it would be like to live in a big city like that if it were a post-apocalyptic landscape where, you know, everything was overgrown and there were all these monsters and animals who wanted to eat you and what it would be like to live in a place like that. And so the setting came first and then the characters and the plot followed. The stakes in this book, so they're, they're external but they're very internal for Sylvia. Um, it's very much about her trying to come to terms with the fact that she could change into one of these monsters and she could die. Um, and her wondering, you know, when am I going to stop being myself? When am I going to start being one of the call, one of those creatures? And I just thought it was very interesting writing the dynamics of somebody who is turning into the thing that they're trying to kill. Describe your main character in five words. Um, so I have two main characters. So there's Syl and there's Bastion, who is a uh, an android in the sex industry. Um, so for Sylvia, five words. I would say she is strong. She's stubborn. She's tough. She's badass. Um, she can also be sentimental. Um, she's a very strong character, but she also has a soft side that comes out sometimes. Bastion is, Bastion is sassy, he's sexy, he's flirty, he's funny. Um, 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 he's just, he's got a lot of personality. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Am I a plotter or a pantser? Um, in the past, I have been definitely a pantser. Um, with this first book, I was a pantser. And then I went through like six months of writer's block where I just couldn't get anything out. And then I decided I'm just going to sit down and I'm gonna plot everything out and that way it will just flow out of me and it'll be fine. Um, and that worked for me, so I say, that now I'm definitely a plotter. I plot everything out. Did I do research for my book? Um, yes, I did a lot of research and I did a lot of research because I'm a procrastinator. Um, I did a lot of research on androids and artificial intelligence and um, how that's progressing in modern times. Um, watched a lot of movies um, on artificial intelligence. My research included, but was not limited to, researching sexual organs of sex bots, um, that kind of thing. So it was some interesting research that I did. What's my favorite scene? So I particularly like the scenes where um, it's building rapport between Syl and Bastion. They just kind of have this great um, chemistry together that I don't even know how I pulled off. There's one scene in particular where they're in an elevator together and they've been attacked by a police spot and um, Bastion was holding a weapon and the gun he was holding has um, 
is out of his grasp and everybody's kind of scrambling to get the weapon. And Sylvia reaches it first and she just obliterates this police bot and she turns to Bastion and says, maybe I should handle the guns from now on. And he says to her, when we get back, I'll search for my masculinity card and hand it into you forthwith. And it's just, I, I love the scenes where they just kind of go back and forth. Um, they have great energy and they get along really well. And I think that that is one of my favorite things about the novel is the relationship between the two of them. Me, my protagonist and my antagonist are foods. What are we? Well, I think I would be like fried chicken because I'm delicious. I'm juicy. Sometimes I can be salty, but it still tastes good. And it's a Southern meal. So maybe I'm just hungry right now. <laughs> Sylvia would be kale <laughs> because kale is like, it's like a super food. It's, um, but like it's bitter. A lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like it. So I think people are very opinionated when it comes to, um, Kale. <laughs> and I think it'll be the same for Sylvia. Um, Bastion would be a funnel cake because funnel cake is delicious. Funnel cake is hot. People love funnel cake. It's something when the fair leaves town, you dream of funnel cake. You just can't wait until you can get funnel cake again. It's that kind of thing. My antagonist. Pontus would be black licorice um, <laughs> because who really likes black licorice and if you do like black licorice you're probably a little bit crazy and parting words so artificial comes out April 4th and I'm gonna be putting some good read links and stuff some goodies below so go check it out and wait for pre-order and you can buy it Alright, thanks guys. See you later.